Hi everyone. Um, so happy to see everyone, hang out with friends. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, um, I wanted to do a dessert that was easy for Shabbos. Um, and the only thing that you need to cook is your microwave. And I think, I hope everyone has a microwave. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do all of it. Feel free to follow along if you have questions. I have the chat box open so I can see it. Um, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do always is put on a pair of gloves. Um, we don't wanna get, if you have nail polish on, you don't wanna get that in your food. Um, oh, my first glove broke. So can you grab me another glove? <laughs> um, we're gonna put on gloves. We wanna be clean. We wanna make sure that we don't get any of our germs in the food that we're cooking. Thank you, Sophia. My sister Sophia is helping me out. <laughs> um, all right, so we should have gotten the list of the ingredients. The first thing that we're gonna use from the list of the ingredients that we have is our chocolate chips. And I'm using coconut avocado oil, but you can use canola oil, you can use coconut, you can use avocado oil, you can use any kind of oil, really don't use olive oil. That's the only one I would not use. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our chocolate chips and take our one cup measuring spoon and we're gonna measure out about a cup a par of chocolate chips, okay? And put it, we're gonna pour that into a microwave safe bowl. So this is my microwave safe bowl. I've got all my chocolate chips in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yay, beautiful chocolate chips. And then the next thing we're gonna do is take our oil, any kind you like. We're gonna open it and take a one tablespoon measuring cup and we're just gonna measure it out and pour it right into the chocolate chips. That's gonna make sure that we don't get like sticky, really, you know, chalky chocolate for our chocolate covered pretzel. So I'm gonna move over here with you guys because my microwave is right underneath my cabinet. Um, and what we're gonna do is quickly mix together the chocolate chips and the oil. This way, nothing really sticks together and everything melts. So what it should look like is nice, shiny chocolate chips, all right? And what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna put this in the microwave for about 45 seconds to a minute, okay? And you're gonna let it start. In the meantime, if you want to, prepare yourself for the next steps. I have my I have my pretzel rods over here. Whatever kind of pretzels you're using, just have them out, ready to go. But the other thing that I did before I even got on the video with you guys was I put my toppings in little bags. So I have my sprinkles, and I crushed up some cornflakes, and I also did some peanuts. You can use anything you want to, chocolate chips, coconut, any kind of nut, any kind of hard cereal that you want to, and just have them all ready to go in your bags so that you don't have to do any of the work later when your chocolate is hot and ready to go. Okay, so the first 45 seconds are done, and all I'm gonna do is take the same spoon again and just mix it together so that any of the parts that are melted are not on the bottom and so that they don't burn. Okay, I would not use a plastic spoon if possible. If you have a plastic spoon, it's totally fine. Just be careful because if it's a really, really bendy plastic spoon, it might melt as the chocolate gets more melty. Um, okay, so the chocolate's not fully melted yet. So we're gonna put it back in the microwave for another 45 seconds or so. And then I'll show you another thing that you can do in the meantime to get ready. So I wrote on the ingredients list that you need a paper plate or a tray with parchment paper. So I have a tray and I already cut my piece of parchment paper, but this is also a really good time to take your tray, to rip your piece of parchment paper and put it over or to go into the cabinet and get a couple of your paper plates. Cause when we actually chocolate cover the pretzels, this is where we're gonna put them on to dry and put that into the refrigerator, okay? So that's another thing that you can do while you're waiting for the chocolate to melt in the microwave to make sure that you're prepared as you go along. All right, three, two, one. All right. 
Oh, it's looking more melty now. This takes a few turns in the microwave. It doesn't happen like right away because we want to make sure that the chocolate doesn't burn. The only way to do that is to check on it every little bit, okay? So I can show you quickly what it looks like so far. I probably have to put it in the microwave two more times to get it exactly where we want it to be. But so far here, this is what it looks like so far. All right, see it's like getting a little bit melty, but it's not fully, fully there yet. So what we're gonna do is put it right back in the microwave, okay? And I'm gonna do another 45 seconds. Also, you should be a little bit more careful than I was when I was mixing that. Put it flat on your counter, mix it carefully, slowly, because I have chocolate chips everywhere now. <laughs> I'm a very messy cook. My mom always yells at me. Um, but we're gonna try to keep it as neat and as clean as possible. Um, that's why we get all of our ingredients and all of our tools out before we start. So another thing that you should have out is I have some plastic cups. What this is gonna do is gonna help me pour the chocolate into the cup and then I'll be able to take a pretzel and just dip it into the cup to get the chocolate all over the bottom of the pretzel and that way we don't make such a big mess. All right, let's see where we are with the chocolate. Oh, we're almost there. I think maybe 30 more seconds, here I'll show you. It's almost all the way melted, looks really awesome. But there are still a few little chocolate chips that are not fully, fully melted. So I'm gonna put it in for 30 more seconds and then I think we'll be ready to start decorating the chocolate, the pretzels, all right? All right, let's see. 30 seconds. All right, now we just gotta wait. Chocolate covered pretzels are easy, but all I wanna do is lick the spoon. <laughs> Don't lick the spoon though, because then your germs are on the spoon and you're serving it to other people and it's definitely not a good idea right now. All right, 10 more seconds. I'm Deborah, by the way, in case people didn't catch my name. Does anyone have any questions? All right, and our chocolate is fully, fully melted. All right, I'm super excited for the next part. I like can't even wait. I'm just gonna turn you guys back around. Okay, all right. Hi guys. <laughs> um, okay, so our chocolate is all the way melted. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be very careful here. If you are a little nervous about spilling, then you can totally do this over a sink or over a garbage. Um, my bowls happen to be really awesome and have this little spout on the end. I don't know if you can see that. So it's gonna pour really easily. But if you're nervous about it, you can just go to your sink and do this right over your sink so that if you spill, you don't have a mess. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my cup and we're just gonna pour some of the chocolate or all of the chocolate <laughs> into the cup. Perfect. All right, and I left a little bit of chocolate in a bowl for myself for afterwards. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way now, and I'm gonna grab my pretzels. Be careful, because a lot of the time, a lot of the time pretzel rods are dairy, so you just have to be careful about, you know, if they are dairy, that's totally fine, just make sure you don't serve them for dessert after a play shift meal, after a meat meal. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my cookie sheet, my pan, my tray, sorry, over to in front of me right here. And this is also, if you're using a plate, this is the time you would bring the plate in front of you also. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pretzels and we're gonna dip it into the chocolate, just swirl it around a little bit. And you'll see that you get a nice chocolate covered pretzel on the bottom there, beautiful. 
And then you're gonna pick which topping you want to use first. So I'm gonna go with my sprinkles. Ooh, I'm dripping chocolate everywhere. I'm gonna go with my sprinkles and I'm just gonna dip my chocolate covered pretzel into the sprinkle bag. Ooh, and put it right down on my plate or on my cookie sheet so that the mess is all on there. And then I'll show you, we're gonna put this in the fridge afterwards so that the chocolate gets hard. Um, and I'll do a few of my different toppings so you can see what they look like. Another thing that I did beforehand, but I'm adding to it now, is I took uh, my cereal and I closed the Ziploc bag and I just kind of crushed it all up before. Um, that way that the pieces like really stick to the chocolate covered pretzel. All right, so we're gonna go in with our second one. And as you can see, this is a really quick, really easy way to have a fun dessert for not just Shabbos. You can use this for the Hagim. You can use this for any time you want to. It's just really quick and fun and easy. So I'm going to do some of the cereal now. I'm just sticking it. Oop, I broke my pretzel. It's okay. <laughs> but I still have a really pretty cereal coated chocolate covered pretzel. All right. Something that my mom likes to say, I don't know if I fully believe her, but um, something my mom likes to say is it's not always about how pretty it looks, it's really about how it tastes. Yes, you can use this for Pesach, that's true. Um, but, you know, for 355 days of the year, this is a really, really good Chagim and, uh, and Shabbos dessert. All right, and I'm gonna do the peanuts last. And then I'll do a few more for you guys to show you. I'm actually going to maybe pour the chocolate into a bowl so that I can show you, you know, if you don't have a cup um, or you don't want to use a cup, how that would look also. So here, I'll pour it back into the bowl, the chocolate for you to show you what that would look like too because not everybody's comfortable pouring it into a cup and I totally get that. It can be a little bit scary to work with the hot chocolate. You don't want to burn yourself or make a mess. Um, all right, so I poured it back into the bowl. Great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another pretzel, okay? And I'm just going to tilt the bowl to the side a little bit. Here, I'll get a little closer. I'm going to tilt the bowl to the side a little bit. And I'm just going to stick my stick into the bowl and just get it as chocolatey as I want it to be. All right. Usually, like, half the pretzel stick is a good amount of chocolate. If you don't want to use pretzel rods also, you can use small pretzels, you can use the big pretzels, not the rod kind, the ones that look like a hot pretzel. <laughs> um, and all you do is the same thing, you just take the ends of it and you dip it in the chocolate, and then you can just put toppings on top. Another thing that you can do to make this easy is if, you're, if you don't want to stick your pretzels like straight into the bag with the toppings, you can just take it, dip it in the chocolate, put it on your cookie sheet or on your plate, and then you can just stick your hands in the toppings and just sprinkle it on top. That also works. You also don't have to use toppings if you don't want to. You can totally just use white chocolate and dark chocolate or even peanut butter if you want to, if you're not allergic. And you can just leave them with just the chocolate. That is delicious too. Um, and then just do the same exact thing and put them right down on your cookie sheet. Um, so now, I mean, I have a lot of chocolate covered pretzels left to do. If you have a lot, just keep going. You know, you can get creative with it. If you run out of ingredients, um, if you run out of sprinkles and that one's your favorite, Go into your cereal cabinet, go into your baking cabinet, go into the pantry, and just get a little bit creative. I, what was something that I wanted to do, but I couldn't find? I couldn't find coconut. I really wanted to do coconut, but I could not find coconut. Um, but that's why instead, I just found my cornflakes, <laughs> and I crushed them up, and let's see. Someone said they are showing the finished product. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, I see Malky. Malky, you're showing your finished product. Yum. 
Looks awesome. Um, honestly, I don't know how I'm going to wait until Shabbos to eat these. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to want to eat them as soon as this is over. Um, but yeah, you can feel totally free to get creative with this. Another thing that you can do is, I know that somebody said that this is not kosher for fast off. That is true. But if you're someone who likes matzah, um, you are more than welcome to do this with matzah. You could do chocolate covered matzah. Uh, hold on. Someone said that they can't hear the host. Hmm. By host, you mean me? Hmm. Interesting. So um, like if you're on a computer, you just have to join the audio. I guess if you can't hear me. Um, Deborah, we have a few questions mm -hmm. from Moshe. So I'm going to unmute Moshe. Moshe, mm -hmm. what's your question? I use hard bread instead of raw pretzels. What'd you say? Hard pretzels, see? Hard pretzels. Hold on one second. I want to see what you're talking about because I can't see everyone. I mean, this. Okay, hold on. Oh, she got to show it in front of the camera so we can see. See? Hard pretzels. Oh, you use hard pretzels. Like big hard pretzels. Yeah. Yum. Yum. Yeah, this works for any kind of pretzel. I mean, that's what I was saying. You could also, for Pesach, if this is something that you really love, the covered things, you can totally just take matzah. <laughs> and um, and you can do this with matzah. I know people who eat chocolate covered matzah. I don't love matzah so much, but if you really like matzah, all you do is just take the bowl and dip your matzah in, and then dip it into the sprinkles, dip it into, you know, I don't know, Coke, I don't know coconut kosher for fat stuff i don't know <laughs> um, i've never thought about that before um you can dip it into whatever you want for pesach and that's a fun way to do a chocolate covered dessert for pesach if you really like matzah um uh, right. deborah we have another question yeah what's up from esti eisenbach esti right. can you hear us no i can hear you okay what's your question that looks so delicious <laughs> you're making thank you but thank and god i'm not allergic just not my taste not your thing just that <sighs> but it looks so delicious anyway thank you Esty. i appreciate it Ugh. how many people are going to try to do this on their own afterwards i'll do my best making chocolate on my own you're going to make chocolate on your own I'll try. But, All right. Um, but stay well, tidy and spotless. Beyond Deb's dishes, so you can always message me with a question if you have. I'll one. message you with a question about yummy recipes. But I do yeah. know how to cook. And bake. You don't message me about yummy recipes. Yeah, SD makes really delicious looking pizza bagels, potato kugel. What else does she make? The potatoes. I made egg salad. My grater. Yeah, delicious. Um, Deborah Malki has a suggestion for a Pesach version. Malki, I saw you wrote it in the chat, but you can suggest it to everyone. My Pesach version, I made luxion and cake for Pesach. Cake. Oh, dumb. Okay, Malki, yeah. want to tell us? So I was thinking about chocolate covered strawberries. You could do the same thing, but just with strawberries. Yeah, 100%. You can easy, do yum, healthy. Yeah, delicious. You could do this with you could do this with bananas or any fruit that you like. You could do chocolate covered, anything. Um, if you like, I'm trying to think what other good fruits there are. Um, you could do chocolate no, covered. No, no, pineapple, I heard. Pineapple, yep. People do chocolate covered pineapple. But that's a really good way to do chocolate covered dessert for Pesach because it's fruit. So it's all kosher for Pesach. That's a really good idea. Mm. All I want to do is eat this chocolate right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does anyone else have any questions? Yeah, this looks so good. Oh, 
Oh, Moshe, you have a question. Okay, Moshe. You okay. could have it for a for a kiddish treat. Kiddish uh -huh. treat. Yes, a hundred percent for kiddish. You know, have a little herring, have a little liver. Throw herring. Can try to try to doesn't like. He try to doesn't like lox because lox is. Lox is, he doesn't like humans because humans eat lox like the fishes, like, like from his kingdom, because he doesn't have real beef I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like before I put it in the refrigerator. So these are the chocolate covered pretzel sticks. And all you're going to do now is put them in the refrigerator. You know, it, it probably needs like an hour to harden up in the fridge. But you can leave it like overnight if you don't want to, if you make it on Friday and you're serving it for dessert after lunch, um, you can just leave it in the fridge overnight if you want to. And that would work perfectly too. Or if you want it to go really, really fast, you could also leave it in 